Well, hell fire, it is Rock the Riff, and I am back for another Metalhead Envy. Back with some more King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. We have made it to Gandhi, I guess is the way to say that. Uh, I know I've seen the, the name Gandhi before, but I think it was spelled a little different. So if I'm mispronouncing that, my bad. Uh, a lot of y'all were commenting on the last one saying y'all were super excited for this track. And, uh, damn it, of course I forgot to turn my lights on back there. Why the hell? Can't go into a metalhead envy without the damn production value on. Uh, a lot of y'all were saying um, the drums. Y'all were all shouting out cabs, saying the drums are gonna take the MVP. Uh, I'll be the judge of that shit. <laughs> Let's dive on in. Okay. Sound of silver, cord and bayon, bayon. Ooh, I do like that. What's up? I like the timing of this so far. I love the timing of this so far. I swear, guys, I was, uh, like, listening to this album, and I was re-listening to Petro Dragonic yesterday. I'm telling you, that album is such a fucking magnum opus. The, every more I listen to that record, it's like the shit they pull off on it. I, that should have put them in a, a Metal Hall of Fame. Personal opinion. Hot take. Let's keep rolling. Okay, everything about this song is fucking awesome so far. I'm assuming this is another one of uh, <clears throat> Joey's tracks. What was that one? Intrasport? Fuck, I can't even remember. It's like I know all these, and then as soon as I put on the camera, and I'm sitting there trying to talk about it, my brain just <laughs> melts. But, yeah, I'm assuming it's another Joey track. Because I don't remember anybody commenting and saying it was. But the timing and everything going on right here. It worked. It's so cool. It works so good. I like that little drum feel right there. Yeah. Those lyrics don't hit nail on the head.
how I feel this morning trying to think of uh think of stuff uh that's <laughs> I word shit the right way. Come get a message to my brain. I can't control myself. Yeah. This song this album changes is shaping up to be another Magnus opus to me. Like, don't get me wrong, I like the silver cord. Petro, Silver Cord, Polygon of Wanna Land. I love Omnium Gather. Even though I went through and I shaved a couple tracks on the way I listened to it. Uh, Fest the Rat's Nest. I got so many. I mean, I've done so many now, and they're all so good. But I do think Petro sticks out. I swear that's, a, that's just a perfect album. Now, music is subjective or objective, however the fuck the smart way is to say that. But Changes for me is really shaping up to be uh, a perfect album for me. KGLW, those are some perfect albums to me, too. Hellfire. King Giz, Yar. I don't know. I've listened to a lot of artists. I mean, prior to be starting a YouTube channel, I used to listen to a lot of music or a lot of different artists. But now doing the YouTube channel, I'm listening to more across the world and getting the suggestions from everybody. But I'd have to say that King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard stands out so much. I mean, the band's ghost and king gizzard finding them through doing the youtube channel and everything those two bands stand out so fucking much but king giz just i don't even know how to word it these dudes are literally any musician that gets into king gizzard if they don't look at these guys and aspire to want to be what these dudes do because it's it don't matter what genre it don't, I mean, <clears throat> we come off of Paper Mache into Changes. Paper Mache is a, an acoustic chill record. Come into Changes, and I mean, they just do whatever the fuck they want to do. I love that aspect. I truly envy that aspect of this band. <laughs> All right, ran over. Let's roll. Cavs definitely is taking MVP. I'm sitting here listening to the vocals. I can't tell if it's Stu or Joey. But whoever did it, I like the character that's been put on him. Like, 
it works so well for this track i mean the the electronic parts are really cool too i like i i've always been a fan of like i love synths especially when you have a good bass tone within the synth and everything but i would almost argue i don't know i love uh it's that one track off the of silver chord I gotta go to my library. I love the actual Silver Chord title track. Gilgamesh really is really cool too. But the Silver Chord title track, Electronic Song, <clears throat> has been one of my favorites from King Giz. But I think Gandhi is gonna get up there with it. I love. I like this song a lot. Intersport was good too. I'm remembering that right, but this song is so groovy. I want to test this one on my girl, see if she likes it. It is hard for me to sell King Giz to her. She, she can't get into. Well, she can. She's just stubborn about listening to longer songs. But she likes, she loves Magenta Mount. That's like one of her favorites. But I wonder if she would like this one. Either way, we're right here at the ass end. Let's keep going. Hey. I know that's new. With Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, you can pick up the tab even when you forget your wallet. I got this. Oh, okay. You can pay me money when even you don't got money. <laughs> I, I really dig the fuck out of Gandhi. Yes, I agree with the commenters. Cavs takes the MVP for this one. Uh, but overall, the whole song is fantastic. I can't get a message to my brain. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'll have to, uh, I'm going to go through this one a few more times. Possibly right after I get done doing this video. That is a funky little tune, man. Changes is shaping up so good. Like, at the moment, I would say Omni get, Omnium Gatherum is, like, my favorite chill, uh, favorite chill record for King Giz, but I think changes might be coming out and getting ready to fucking take it. <laughs> I dig this fucking band so much. I did have somebody comment on a, another, uh, I think it was a band made video and one of the original, like, the guy was super nice, super cool. And was like, was like, man, I've been sub to you like since the early days, and I thought you were becoming the King Gizzard in the Lizard Wizard channel. <laughs> and I told him, I was like, no, man, like I just certain bands that I fall in love with, I want to go through their discography. Just so happens that King Giz has fifty thousand albums, so there is a lot of tracks to go through. <laughs> <laughs> oh hellfire if this ends up being your first time to the channel please leave a like comment subscribe give me some info on this track i want to know who's singing 
Is that Joey or Stu? I know both of them are capable. There ain't no way both of them couldn't do that character. I'm thinking it's Joey. Because it's such an electronic heavy song. And I feel like that's Joey's... Like, he's bread and butter or whatever. Like, he's... he. I think out of all the people there, maybe him and Cookie are more <clears throat> into electronic music. But don't quote me on none of that because I don't know none of that. I'm just taking a gander guess off of uh, what information has been told to me by the fans and uh, what I've gathered from listening to King Gizzard. Yeah, Cavs MVP all the way. Cavs fucking killed. I like the feels. I like the time up changes. Well, not really time up changes, but how the the feel of the time feels like it plays around a couple hairs and everything. If this ends up being your first time to the channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. And yeah, I cannot think of anything else to say. So stay positive, stay rocking. I'll catch y'all in the next one.